this is Jamie Magritte. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. I don't know if you can see all the texture on there. There you go. So let's get started. I'm going to be using Sahara Sand Ink. I have two stamps from Autumn Goodness. I'm also going to be using the coordinating die for the uh, pumpkin to cut that out. I have a scrap of Whisper White to stamp the that on. I think it's a big enough piece. Yep. I have two small strips, 5 eighths inch for the Sahara Sand piece and one half inch, and they're both five and a half inches long. Those are for the sentiment strip. I have three pieces that are one and a half inches by three and three quarter inches and those are to be run through the embossing folders. I have three different embossing folders. It doesn't really matter which ones you use. I just chose three from my stash. Um, this is the textile one. Mm, let me put you on pause a minute and I'll find the names for them. It's Tasteful Textile. That's the 152718. Dainty Diamonds, these are both 3D ones, and this one is 152702. And then I use this one from Greenery Embossing Folders. So those are the embossing folders I've chosen. <clears throat> then I have a piece of Whisper White, which is 4 by 5 and a quarter. A piece of Sahara Sand, which is 4 and 1 eighth by 5 and 3 eighths. Then my card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll put these aside. First thing I'm going to do is run these through my embossing folder. There's no right or wrong except you kind of want to, whatever design you want, you want to try and make sure it's straight in the folder. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run these through and I will be right back when I'm done with that. Okay, I've got those pieces, so let's get those out. Okay. Now let's go ahead and um, stamp our set our stamping. Get that part done. I'm using again Sahara Sand ink. Stamp this. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment basically right in the middle of this whisper white one. Okay, we're not going to do any coloring today. Now I'm going to pause and I'm going to take the die and cut out this Come on. You can fussy cut it too. I actually did for that one because I forgot I had the dies. I'm going to place this on here and I will be right back. I'm going to go cut this out. Okay, I taped it down with my post-it notes. All right, we've got all of our pieces. Put this away so I don't lose it. All right, let's bring in our um, five and a quarter by four inch piece. And I'm going to bring in these pieces and I'm going to figure out which way I want them. I wanted my most prominent or dominant design to be in the middle. These two are more subtle. 
So figure out your spacing. Let's move this white paper so you can actually see what I'm doing. Figure out your spacing. Okay, then come in with whatever adhesive you choose to use. I'm going to go ahead and use the Tombow because I just like that little bit of wiggle room it gives me. And I'm going to put the adhesive on the back. I'm going to start with one side. Or one end. I'm going to go to this end. I'm going to go ahead and put my metal one. Okay, that's the base for our card. And we're going to take these pieces. Oh, the sentiment we stamped is going to fit right on top of the um, Sahara sand strip. And again, these were um, 5 eighths inches and a half an inch. And they're both the 5 and a half inches. So go ahead and set that down on there. And this one's a tiny bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in my snips. Turn it over and trim it off. Right. Okay, I'm going to bring in that four and one eighth by five and three eighths inch piece of Sahara sand. I'm going to go ahead and mount this to that. Apologize for all the sirens, but I live in the city, so fortunately, it's part of living in the city, even with the windows closed. Okay, now we're going to bring in dimensionals for this. Use regular ones on the back of this part. Put one more in the middle here. And this is tiny, so I think I'll just use a little bit of a strip from the end, from the side. It's even too small for a tiny dimensional. I'm just going to put one more here. Take these backs off. about where we want this. It's going to go in that one, th that third, you know, basically where that third is. Okay. I'll we'll go ahead and glue on the back of this one. Tuck it under that. down. And this happens to be a little bit longer. Oh, I know why, because I meant for it to be longer. Okay. 
and then we're going to adhere this to the front of our card. There's just going to be that little uh, 16th of an inch border because this is just an eighth of an inch smaller than the card front. Line up three sides and set it down. There we go. It's a very simple card, monochromatic, but it's got all that texture. And it's just, I think, a very pretty card. Well, thank you for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.